Hey guys, it's Steven from Ableton Up, and um, we had a question come in over email that asked about layering sounds and making sure sounds aren't clashing together and that loops fit well with each other without interfering, basically. And so I've got here a track that I've been working on that I think does that well. And so let's go in and have a look at the different parts and we'll see how it all works together. So at the top here we have three percussion tracks that are all um, that are all fitting very well together. Um, we've got a bass sound here along the stabs. sounding piano loop. It just continues like that. And so there are three things uh, going on here as far as layering goes. Um, three levels of interference that can happen. First of all, there's rhythmic interference. Um, if everything, for example, is 16th notes, then the, the song won't sound full. It will sound rushed, and um, you won't like it. Um, second of all, if, or on the other hand, if everything is slow and not moving very fast, then it will sound more ambient. And um, if that's your goal, then that works very well. Here, it's not my goal. Um, for example, I included some very slow elements, like, like the melody on top of this pad right here. It's a pretty slow element on top of a very fast element, this keyboard. And combined with the percussion, that makes for something that's driving, but still has a sort of slow feeling to it. Um, so you want to think about rhythmic interference. You don't want everything having the same rhythm, um, but something has to have rhythm to keep it moving. Um, you want to also think about harmonic interference. For example, this piano loop right here is way up on the keyboard, while the bass loop is way down. Um, the stabs right here are kind of in the middle. And the pad just sits right above the stabs. I've dropped the low out of the pad. Um, and you can hear that it wouldn't interfere with the stabs if I played the two together. These two elements are probably the closest I have in the song, but still they work together because one is more rhythmic and um, punctuate in the other. So that's how those work together. Um, the last thing you want to think about is textural uh, interference, which um, has to do with the, the nuances in the tone, in the, in the timbre of the song, and the, and the different patches you're using. Um, for example, you wouldn't want a very harsh bass going with a very harsh everything else, you would want at least some sort of difference among that. That's, um, that's essentially the difference between all of this punctuation, or all of this percussion, which I guess you could call punctuation, all of this percussion up here, and all of this melodic stuff down here, there's a 
very sharp contrast between that and this. So that's the kind of textual interference um, you want to keep in mind. Um, and it's very balanced when you're using percussion like that with uh, soft melodic stuff like that. So um, basically, when layering sounds, just keep those three things in mind. Harmonic interference, textual interference, and rhythmic interference. And you should be good to go. Um, let's hear it all together now.